Hey everybody, Sam here and Angela and welcome to our channel. Welcome to another video from our 1988 Palm Harbor single line mobile home where we are just about done renovating this thing. Top to bottom, inside completely. Today we are going to be laying the new floor in here and I am so excited that's going to kind of complete the inside shell. We still have some cosmetic stuff afterwards but the that's whole, the big thing. The whole world of finished carpentry and trim, but... So what does our floor look like? Our floor is like this. Look at that. Would you look at it? It's very pretty. This is Smart Core brand, and this particular finish is called Lanier Hickory. It is a composite PVC floor. This is 100% waterproof. I have put this flooring through a torture test in old videos, and it truly is 100% waterproof the entire thing which is big for us because we have been known to frolic off to a store and leave the windows open and think the sky is great and come back to a torrential downpour and wet floors so this flooring is the exact same that we put into our boys bedroom when we did that renovation it is held up wonderfully in their bedroom for almost two years just a year, honey. Oh, one year? It has been one year. Wow. Okay, well, it's been <laughs> great for a year. So we definitely felt great about doing it in the rest of the house. One reason I really wanted to choose this flooring, too, is I wanted continuity throughout the whole house, minus the bathrooms. But through the kitchen, dining room, living room, bedrooms, I wanted it to look all the same because to me that is just the icing on the cake. It just looks great. So that's one of the main reasons we chose this. And we also like the lighter woods, which the hickory is. It also has a really nice variation to it and the grain on it and everything. I just like the look of it. So does Sam. So here we go. Here it is. And I am ready to have it down on the floor. Okay, so the tools that we are going to be using as we put this down is mainly a pencil. We're going to use our lovely handy dandy oscillating tool and a square and a measuring tape and another pencil. Anything else? I'm my hands are empty. <laughs> so pretty much we found out that it's easier if I just stay on the floor and I can measure or mark whatever needs to be cut. Sam can hand me the pieces and then he can cut them as needed. That way it's not a whole bunch of up, down, up, down because I, I'm not down for that and neither is Sam. So. You guys still with us? Still having fun? Good, good. We're making pretty good progress. We're almost to a pretty difficult row because this starts here at the boys room. It goes all the way through the living room into the dining room. This next run is going to go in front of the cabinets in the kitchen and all the way to the other side of the kitchen. Okay. I've had it for a couple of weeks. I think probably close to three weeks now. But I bought a new table saw. I sold my other one that was much, much larger, steel, cast iron top, super heavy. I sold it not long after moving out here. And I've been looking for one that was smaller, portable, and more appropriate to my needs. I bought one, I've had it in a box. We actually unpacked it earlier today before we started in here because the box was huge and it was in our way. I have got to rip off one inch widths of several pieces of these flooring for our kitchen. I'm going to try the table saw. I don't know if it's going to run it. Right now we're running off of our generator connected to our solar system, charging those batteries, topping them off. But everything is plugged into the, from the house to the camper, from the camper to the solar system. And I just don't know if I'm going to have the power this is going to need for that immediate startup or not. Solar systems are generally not powerful enough to give you that big amperage startup to start larger tools. So we'll see. I'll plug it up, we might just pop the breaker, kill the power, or maybe it'll work. Let's see. I'm just going to see if they'll start at first. I don't know. Two. <laughs> 
the light behind you like turns off. I gotta hold the power button down for a second. We'll Try see. Get enough power. Yeah. drawing too much. Well, look at it. It's huge. Quack, quack, quack. That's alright. I didn't want to get my new saw dirty with this little stinky new flooring anyway. You know how dirty it would make it in here too? Now I have to cut all of those pieces of oscillating tool. There's only a couple and some of it goes underneath the dishwasher so you shouldn't have to do it there. So in other words, quit complaining? Is that what you're telling me, huh? Yeah. Basically. Suck it up, buttercup. Right? Yeah. All right, here's a quick look at how I'm cutting stuff. I've got a notch a corner out of this right here at the doorway of the boys' room. I'd put some pencil marks on it, use a speed square, zip it there, zip it there. All right, so I've got my cuts marked here. So it's as simple as taking an oscillating tool. This is just a regular wood blade. You don't need anything fancy for this stuff. And just cutting the corner out. There you go. Easy peasy, one, two, three, easy. Do it while you're standing up here in the hallway. I mean, okay, if you feel comfortable, do it that way. But as much experience as we have with these oscillating tools, they're kind of like a second hand at this point. Right, here we go. just almost lines up plankwise here too. That's cool. We are done with the long rows, which is nice because now we can go ahead and just fill in the living room and then go in and fill in the kitchen dining room probably tomorrow. It is about 7.30, so we're kind of losing a little bit of steam, but we're still excited to get it done. So we're gonna continue and hopefully finish the living room today.
Well, we have reached a wonderful milestone called the end of the work day. We didn't quite get as far as we wanted to, but... I, I would not say that. I honestly didn't think we were doing the flooring today. I thought I had a little more time to mess around with electrical outlets, tinker with this or that. Nope. Apparently not. Um, really quick, fun story time. This flooring being waterproof, we got to um, really love that benefit when we went to pick it up from the store. So we ordered 38 boxes online and said, hey, we'll pick it up, store pickup type of thing. And we went there and well, okay, before we went there, we've kind of been dodging the weather a little bit and kind of waiting, pushing it back until we were ready for this part. Well, after a couple of emails from the store saying, hey, remember you got an order to pick up, come get it out of the way. We decided we would go for it. Had a pretty clear looking day, we'll take off. Well, not so is the story as it goes. We get there, we load it up, and it is the darkest, windiest, stormiest weather I think we've ever seen since we've been out here. As soon as we got the stuff on the trailer and we headed out, the skies opened. Absolutely. And we, we were fine, right? We brought a tarp, we covered it up. No, we didn't bring the tarp. And so we drove home for, I think, about 20 miles in the rain, absolute deluge and the whole stack of flooring was on the trailer just getting washed the whole time though we're thinking hey i'm glad it's 100 percent waterproof we know it is i'm not worried about the planks delaminating or warping if anything i was like man it might mildew or it might kind of mold we're not sure thankfully as we've gone through this i mean we've done probably about 12 boxes not a single speck of anything and it's what was on top yep it they was right wet. on top so, so awesome good stuff all right well, we're going to call it stops for tonight don't go anywhere though we're going to finish out this project in this video we just want to stop and yak at you as we both celebrate the milestone we have a lot of floor down we do there's a lot of it floor down that's yes english <laughs> bye welcome back next day we are ready to rock and roll hopefully get this living room floor done pretty quickly I'm nursing a pretty bad foot injury. I have tendencies to have foot problems, heel spurs, whatever. So I'm gonna be hobbling over at the saw cutting area. We got the boys, they're gonna help out Angela and we're gonna try and get this done, hopefully in the next, I don't know, 30 minutes. There you go guys, 30 minutes, let's go. All right, so what I do is if mommy does this, Elijah take your next long plank, lay on the floor. <clears throat> Make sure when you lay it, See how this one has like the white thing sticking out the corner? It's going to be in the right way. So, yes. Just lay down on the floor there. <coughs> Perfect. And mommy will grab it and be able to get it in place better. Now, I'll just show you one more piece. Go ahead and take it down there. When you got your pencil? No, I don't. Uh, okay. Isaac, go get me a pencil out of your bedroom. Do it. So mommy's going to take that piece, Elijah, then she'll mark it. If you'll bring it to me, I'll cut it.
market at the window. Piece, just three pieces of those, is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Unless you want me to cut it three quarter. Okay. You're ready? I'll cut it three quarter. Hang on. Flip it around, Booker. The white line goes to you. See at the bottom? The living room is done. Oh my goodness, it is done. That is so awesome. It looks amazing in here. It feels amazing and I'm just amazed. We only have, I don't know, the dining room, kitchen and bedroom to go and all the flooring is done. I would say we're probably about a third of the way done with all the new floor install. Yeah. Which is great considering the amount of time we've put into it. So mm -hmm. this goes very quickly, this style floor is honestly really easy to work with. It is very easy to cut with the oscillating tool. Again, that's our preference. And with two little feral kids helping you running back and forth, helps out the old crippled people too. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and take a break for a few minutes and then we will start back in the dining room and kitchen. See you there. Well, that was a ton of work, but my goodness, it looks nice. It does, it looks very sleek, and I just love how it goes throughout the whole house. Okay, I was a skeptic of that design thought process of the same floor from front door through to the kitchen. I didn't know that I liked it because what we were used to was living room was wood, kitchen, dining room was kind of the tile look, but you were right, the single floor really anchors and gives more continuity to the house but there's still separation enough to where you don't feel like you're just in one big room right which is another reason that some people had mentioned you know they would have taken out this wall that divides the living room from dining room it's one of the reasons we left it 
is we like the, the separation feeling. We don't want it just to be one wide open, completely open floor concept. Right. Now that this new floor is down, what do you want to do next? I guess we're going to cover it up. <laughs> we're going to what? I don't want it to get messed up. Good idea. All right, <laughs> let's cover up that new floor. Well, there we go. The new floor is pretty well protected. This is some contractor grade paper. It was. <clears throat> Things we got at the hardware store that is designed to go on the floor during construction. And we went ahead and put this from door to door, front door to back door, all the major walkways, around in the kitchen, and up to the bedroom. We haven't done the bedroom floor yet. Truthfully, that floor is kind of covered and stuff right now. <laughs> That's where all of the tools and the floor molding and ladders, everything got put in there. So it's a little covered right now, but it's going to be pretty much the same thing. So we won't do another video to show you that because I think as you said, it's kind of rinse and repeat. It is. You've seen us do a lot. <laughs> right, right. And you will see the bedroom. We're not saying that's it. Forget about you. We're just saying Let's do something different video wise as we move on to the next step as a whole instead of more floor time. <laughs> okay, it's kind of boring. It does. So, all right, we've installed this floor in the past for the boys' bedroom. Mm -hmm. Now doing living room, kitchen, dining room. Number one, I was amazed we were able to get through all of these transitions, these different joints that snake left and right and it lock all together and, yes. and be straight and locked in correctly. Kudos to us. It did help a lot with me on the floor and then you cutting and handing and I'm still really sore from being on the floor, <laughs> so. Yep, in my uh, my hobbling around on the last day's video, uh, my feel is feeling better, so we're good. It's one walk. of those, yeah, I can walk today. It's one of those things. The doctor says I shouldn't spend a lot of time on a ladder or on my feet. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do, so. It's bone spurs. I don't know if I said that earlier or not. So it's just one of the things you gotta deal with. So thankfully when they flare up, there's a chair and two kids around to help and we can still push through and get some projects done. Well guys, thanks for coming along as we put down our new flooring and got one step closer to move in. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on The Homestead. See you guys. Bye. Ugh, no, hang on. That ain't gonna work. Like, what happened to Sam's forehead? He's got an encroaching hairline of gray. <laughs> I'm thinking about camera angles and lighting and stuff. Hang on, what? Good idea. All right, <laughs> let's cover up that new floor. Okay. So now we will change perspective to give the illusion that we just did that and Ta -da! we're gonna literally throw the floor down and clock clock it we're gonna cluck it honey you're always gray I am gray I don't when did I start just wearing gray clothes I don't know but this pocket is bugging me ah! you're taking too long come on take a picture does that work because you really are chomping at the bit. I am. I'm trying to give some education out here. Otherwise, we're just going to see. Damn. I'm so sorry my pocket offended you.
the beard. Oh, you need me? Yeah. Yeah, no worries. A little bit. I'm a little fuzzy. I'm a little fuzzy too. I'm so overdue for a haircut. Not even funny. You down with OPP? OPP? Yeah, you know me. You down with... I think it's OPP. It's crisscross. Somebody please tell me. I don't know. Crisscross. Crisscross will make you jump, jump. Applesauce? No. Daddy Mac will make you jump, jump. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Angela, I think we're from different generations or something. Old cripple hobbled over to restart the camera. We are almost done. Angela is on the second to last row. So Awesome! There's just one left. Looks like I spilled a bunch of pepper over here. You know we call our kids the feral kids? It's because they're a little wild. Well, Isaac, come here. I think this one got a little bit extra wild today. What is all over you? Dirt. You look like a little homeless boy, a little woods boy. Whatever it is. Big pit, dust bath. Dust bath. <laughs> It's time for you to hit the showers. <laughs> Not with the yogurt, though. <laughs>